eight tips if you want to get back together with your ex. Number one, don't ever comply to get her approval. Don't ever comply to get her approval. This is in text and in face-to-face -face interactions. Most of the times, guys think if they comply, if they agree to things that she says, if they uh, agree to the terms that she says, then she will approve them and she will make, give them a chance. That is not correct. Don't do that because if anything, it kills the attraction and changes the dynamic all in her favor. Most of the times when I work with clients, they're in damage control because of this, because of complying too much. And that's where the difference is. You got to understand she didn't leave you because of lack of compliance. You got to understand the difference between weak frame and strong frame. You got to understand frame control and never ever exchange your status in order to get her approval. Now, if you want more examples of this, read my book. The link is in description. Number two, don't look back. This is another big mistake that guys make. When they want to get their ex back, they constantly think about what happened in the past. Now, again, this includes your texting and your face-to-face -face interactions. Let's say you're sitting together, you're talking. If you keep looking back after the breakup, like, let's say she come back to pick up her stuff. If you look back, oh, baby, you know, I'm so sorry. I didn't treat you well. I'm so sorry. I did that. Oh, are you sure? You know, you're okay with what happened. If you look back, you miss out on, on what's in front of you, just like driving. Imagine you're driving, but you keep looking back. What happens? You don't see what's in front of you. Boom, there's a crash. Instead, I want you to look at your life like a movie. And this relationship was the previous scene of this movie. If you want to get back together with your ex, you got to look forward. You got to see what is the next scene. So don't look at it as something that was in the past and it's, I'm going to recreate what was in the past. It's over. Just like a movie. You see the scene was there. You go to the next one. Number three, I want you to move the frame of reference inside. This is one of the biggest attraction killers that guys don't understand. They don't know what to do. They look at the wrecks in order to get ideas on what to do. Or they keep asking their friends or they keep asking uh, other people for, uh, for knowing what to do. If you want to be back together with your ex, you got to remember, you got to be decisive. You got to move the frame of reference inside. You got to know what is good, what is bad. You got to know what is right, what is not right. And that's one of the things that I help you with in my coaching program. Again, the link is in the description. You got to understand if you want to build a connection and attraction and trust with a quality woman, you got to be decisive and you got to have the frame of reference inside. It means you are the frame. You are the reference for you are the reference for um, knowing if what you want to do is right or wrong. Should I text her? Should I take her out here? Should I tell her I want to be back together or not? Should I wait? Should I text her parents? Should I uh, send the rent? What should I do? Move the frame of reference inside. Look, you know better than anybody else. At least you should know better than anybody else. If you don't know, if you're not decisive, read my book. Next thing, don't be weak. Don't be weak. This includes everything. Weak communication, using weak vocabulary, showing weakness, um, crying, begging, pleading, doing weak things like drinking, becoming the victim or not being able to accept the breakup because all of these things cost you attraction. And if you want her to be back, you need to have attraction. You need to have trust. People don't trust a weak guy. So don't do weak things. It's very simple. Go to Google, see what are weak personality traits. And that's another thing that I work with in my program. Any weak traits will cause you trust and attraction. You yourself don't trust somebody who is weak. So don't telegraph weakness. Dude, your ex is not your emotional support anymore. If you tell her, baby, I can't be with you anymore, baby, this is so hard without you. Dude, that's all telegraphing weakness. Don't telegraph weakness. Number six, don't go out of your way to make her happy. 
Don't go out of your way. I see guys put up with so much bad behavior. They put up with so much shit just because they want to get back together. The girl says, I want to go and explore my other options, other possibilities. If I don't find anybody later, I'll come back to you. And the dude is in such a bad place. He says, oh, okay, okay, it's fine, baby. You can go to wherever you want. Or the girl says, oh, from today on, I'm going to go out and um, you cannot ask me where I go. I'll go with my girlfriends. And she doesn't come back home for two days. And the dude is fine. Because he's afraid, he loses her. So he doesn't say what he wants. So he becomes this dude who suppresses all of the emotions, sucks at communication because he's playing from the position of weakness and fear. So don't go out of the way, dude. You gotta have boundaries. In my program, I talk to you about boundaries. I show you how to set boundaries without coming aggressive, how to uh, set boundaries and get respect because for people to respect you, they need to see that you have boundaries. They need to know, she needs to know, your ex needs to know that you, you, have, you have willingness to walk away. You don't go out of your way just to have her in your life. So you need to have boundaries. Otherwise, you end up in a relationship that your girl goes and does whatever she wants to do, unhappy with you, and you end up breaking up. It's an example I use sometimes. If you look at different the, the puppies, different dogs, dogs who have good owners, who are, who are good masters, who can train the dog well, who are disciplined, those dogs are happier. Dogs who don't have good owners, they run away. They get hit by a car. They bark all the time. They're tense. Relationships are the same. You are the dude. You should be a good leader. Imagine you run a company. And you cannot lead your people. Your people will not be happy. Your employees won't be happy. You got to be a good leader. And um, which brings me to number seven. Get out of reactive mode. Get out of the reactive mode. For example, one of my clients, he told me he and his ex broke up. But because of the kids, they're going away. And one of the things that they do in the program is... If you come in my program, you see, you can text me anytime you want, so we can talk, talk on text. That's why I get very limited number of clients, because I don't have time to talk to everybody. So anyways, he texts, and this guy was sending me texts. Oh, Ben, uh, that bitch, she told me she doesn't want to be back with me in front of kids. Uh, I'm so pissed. Dude, fine, you're out together already with your kids. I said, dude, you are the only guy in her life who is the mother of her kids. Do not react to this. Yes, she's angry. Yeah, there is some resentment. She wants to see what is your limit. She wants to give you another chance to get back together with you. Don't show anger, sadness, jealousy, neediness, weakness, emotional weakness. Be aware of all of your emotions. Be aware of your bad and good emotions. The second you feel discomfort because of interaction, because of the interaction with your ex, the second you feel like, oh, this makes me angry. I gotta do this. I gotta tell her this. That's where you need to be aware. That's where work needs to be done. Be very aware of emotional weakness. And finally, uh, number eight, if you want to get back to your with your ex, you got to accept the breakup. You got to accept the breakup. There is no resistance. The more you want to stop it, the more she sees you cannot take it, the more resistance you create. The more you put her on a pedestal, the more you think she's unique, the more you live in this uh, box and thinking there's nothing else in the world that is like her, the more she doesn't want to be with you. Dude, you got to accept the breakup. That's just a step of the way. You look at the statistics. It's something like 15 or 20% of married Americans in States have been through a separation and back together. That's a crazy high number. And that's not all of them because most people don't report these things. And uh, you got to be okay with that. Don't resist what is happening right now. Be okay, be cool, move forward. Because if you have that personality that is okay with what happens, then it will bring you trust and attraction. If you can't take it, if you keep uh, struggling and you show that, oh my God, I can't, this is so difficult, it will cause you trust and attraction. She sees you cannot even 
hold space for yourself. You cannot go through this yourself. How can you take care of her? How can you take care of the family? So if you want to get your ex back, look, I know these things are difficult, but you got to do them. You got to understand them. If you're serious about getting your ex back, you can see my details in the description. First thing, read my book, watch other videos in this channel as well. Send me a message. If I see we are fit, I text you, I'll talk to you, ask you a few questions. If I see I can help you, then I'll show you how to join my program. Don't worry, I'm going to help you get your ex back. This is Ben. I'll see you in the next video.